Welcome to Tabletop Ready. My name's Michael and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to paint Dark Angels. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint the armour with heavy metal highlights, paint details and accessories and finish this tutorial by showing you how to paint any robes and cloth as well. If you want to know how I get my miniatures ready for painting make sure to go watch the tutorial I made showing you how I do it. I'll put the brushes and paints I use in this tutorial in the description below as well as putting them on the screen throughout this video. If you enjoy my content please give this video a like and let me know in the comments below and if you want to help out support what I do I have a Patreon and you can also join this channel as a member. I'll keep you up to date with what I'm up to, you'll see my tutorials before anyone else and you'll be able to join my discord. I've built the marine in sub assemblies to make painting a lot easier but you can choose to fully assemble the miniature if you want to. I've also undercoated our marine with Chaos Black Spray because we want quite a dark tone to this miniature which would be difficult to achieve with a brighter undercoat. The first thing we want to do is paint a nice smooth solid base colour which we can shade and highlight. Let's start by painting our Dark Angel's armour with Caliban Green and using some painting basics to achieve a nice smooth finish. When painting I recommend thinning your paints first of all with an equal amount of water and this is going to give you more control. Try not to go over any areas you've already painted to prevent creating unwanted texture whilst the paint is drying. It's also better to paint in multiple thin layers so we don't lose any detail on our marine. For the first layer I like to use a flat base brush as this spreads the paint more evenly. And once that first layer is dry, switch to a normal base brush so we can make sure to get any areas we may have missed with a flat brush. Repeat the process until you're happy you have a nice solid colour. Now we have our green base colour painted, let's paint all the armour joints using a bad and black. It's better to do this now so we don't have to worry about being so messy as we can use Caliban Green to clean up any mistakes and not ruin any shading or highlights we may have already done on the armour. With that done let's get some definition on the armour now with a recess shade. A recess shade is done by painting a darker shade or colour directly into the recesses and shallow details of a miniature. This allows us to create that definition without affecting the main colour too much. For the recess shade on our Dark Angel I'm using Norn Oil and I find using a glaze brush perfect for the job. It gives us more control as we don't have to worry about overloading the brush with shade and it's able to get into smaller details that can be difficult for a larger brush. Again you can always neaten up any mistakes as we go along with Caliban Green, nobody's perfect. I now want to spend some time going through the process of highlighting. I want to do this because highlighting for me has to be one technique that if you can do well you can paint anything. When highlighting I like to have a brush that I keep separate so I know I have a nice point on it when I need it. You also want to think about the consistency of the paint. I find I don't use as much water as I normally would as this is going to help give us that strong colour without multiple passes we would normally need to do when layering. It's also a good idea to remove some of the paint from the brush onto some kitchen paper which is going to help prevent those thick blobby lines. The first highlight I'm going to show you is a chunky highlight and I'm using an equal mix of both Caliban Green and Warp Stone Glow. This first highlight wants to be quite a thick line and this is going to help soften and bring out the next highlight we do. It's also going to help with defining the shape of those armour panels. Go around all the panel edges and I'm almost using the side of my brush for this highlight to get the thickness I'm after. The next highlight I'm going to show you is the fine highlight. I'm using Warpstone Glow and this highlight is going to bring out all those sharp edges making them really stand out. For a lot of the highlights you can use the edge of your brush and run it along the edge to create a highlight making it a lot easier. For the areas you can't do this, just take your time and paint a thin line along those details to create the highlight. This is probably the trickiest and most time consuming part of painting a space marine, but it just takes some practice and the more you do, the better your hand eye coordination will get, making you a better painter overall. I'm going to finish off the highlights with a spot highlight and I'm using Scarsnick Green for this. Using the same techniques I've just shown you, you want to pick out the more prominent edges on the armour. Once you've finished doing all those different highlights, you'll see what a huge difference it makes to help bring out all those armour details. It does take time, but I do think the effort is always worth it. Let's now move on to painting all the other details of our Dark Angel.
The next thing I like to get painted on a marine after the armour is all the metals. For all the silver details on our marine, start with some lead belcher. Then give these areas a wash using some null oil. Before finishing up with a fine highlight using Stormhouse Silver. For any details you want to paint gold, start with some Retributor armour. Give these areas a wash of Reichland Flesh Shade. And finish up by layering up the gold with Liberator Gold. Next up I want to show you how to go about painting all the other details and accessories on our Dark Angel. I want to go through getting all the other details on our Dark Angel painted now, starting with finishing the armour joints. Using your highlighting skills again, start with some mesh and grey. You can then finish all the armour joints with a fine highlight using Dawnstone. To paint the chest decoration, you want to get a solid base colour painted using more gas bone. Next, layer this up with some Ushabti bone, making sure to leave that more gas bone showing in recesses to give us some definition. Finish the chest decoration with a fine highlight using Pallid Witch Flesh. Dark Angel bolters tend to have a red gun casing and to paint this I would start with some Mephiston Red. Then give this a wash using some Norn Oil. Now layer up the bolt gun casing with some Evil Sun Scarlet to really make it stand out against the green. And then finish up the bolt gun with an edge highlight using Fire Dragon Bright. You'll want to paint any belts and pouches as well. For these I would start with some Rhinox Hide. Then paint a chunky highlight with some Mornfang Brown. And to finish painting any belts and pouches, use some Carrick Stone to paint the highlights. We can't have a Dark Angels tutorial without me showing you how to paint these cream coloured robes some Dark Angels go round in. The first thing you want to do is to paint a solid base colour using more gas bone. Remembering multiple thin layers is always better to achieve a nice smooth finish. We're now going to paint some Zandri dust into the deeper folds of the cloth. I find thinning your paint slightly more than usual will help whilst doing the next few steps to help blend all the layers together. We now want to work up on the raised areas with some Yushabti bone, making sure we can still see that more gas bone as a mid-tone. We can make the transitions between the colours a lot smoother by using some of that more gas bone where the colours meet to help blend them together. Next we're going to take the raised areas to Screaming Skull and then just like before use some Ushabti bone to help smooth the transition. And finally finish any robes with a highlight using Pallid Witch Flesh. And to finish up our Dark Angel we still have to paint the lenses on the helmet. Start with some Mephiston Red. Now paint a thin line along the bottom edge of the lenses with some Fire Dragon Bright. Then finish the lenses with a small dark white scar in the top rear corner of each lens. Our Dark Angel is now finished and I hope I've been able to give you the confidence and knowledge to go away and paint your own. I've got plenty of other tutorials on the channel including how to paint some of the other Space Marine chapters. I really enjoy making these tutorials and I hope you find them useful. You can really help the channel by liking the video and commenting below. You can also support me as a channel member or becoming a Patreon, which makes a massive difference in helping me make these tutorials. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future content, and I'll see you in the next video.